Hey, what's going on guys? Dulles here. Uh, finally got the rims and tires together for the winter. And the tires came this morning and the sensors came this morning as well. And that's pretty good news because we've got the first snow storm of the season today. And uh, just got them mounted. So now we got to get them on, on the car. But I went with the Nokian uh, Nordman 7 SUV. You can get these studded, but I don't need them studded here. So I just went with them a uh, decent price. I was cross shopping a few others. And uh, I heard some good reviews about these guys. I know they're trying to come into the American market. And, uh, Eric, the, Eric the Car Guy and I think uh, Humble Mechanic had done some uh, stuff with Nokian brand. So hopefully they're pretty decent. Uh, let me know down in the comments. But the tread seems pretty deep, pretty pliable. Um, Nice looking tires, clean. And then for rims, got Blackrock 997s here. They've got center caps. I'm going to put them on when I mount them so they don't stick here. You just put them in there. And then I'll see how that goes. So here we go. I'll roll in the before photo and I'll put the after photo. But these are 20 inch with uh, 265, I think 65 20s. And then these are 265, 70. 17 so a much thicker sidewall so we'll see how that goes the black rocks have more of an offset when i was test fitting them they stuck out about another inch so we'll see how that works hopefully it doesn't throw up too much stuff but uh, uh hopefully it'll look pretty cool for the family mobile uh as i take these off uh these are not directional tires um but i want to mark on the sidewall hopefully with chalk they're wet now i wasn't thinking about that and hopefully the chalk will stick and uh, i can mark which ones they are that way um Come springtime, when I put them back on, I can rotate them properly because they're at the point where they need to be rotated. But uh, I didn't do it because I was waiting for the, the snow to come. All right, so I lose points for con inconsistency here, but I've got front left and then I've got left rear. <laughs> so could have done LF and LR or vice versa, but it works. So we got on these sides, let's pull them off and uh, see how it goes. All right, so you can see they're fairly close in size as far as overall diameter. I think these are 30 or 31. And change and these are 31 or 32 and change um, I'll link in the description but they're pretty close uh, I wanted something that was close just want a little more sidewall a little more tire in there but I'll put a link in the description and the only difference is that I think a uh, speedometer is gonna be slightly slow I think it's about two miles an hour difference at 65 so it's not a big deal well with this little difference there's a calculator online and I'll link to that as well all right so I still gotta torque them down but I'm thinking they're looking pretty good and uh, compare the offset a little bit. Definitely the front stick out a little more than the rear. Let's see, a couple inches up here. Yeah, it's, maybe it's about the same. Let's see, yeah, it's probably about the same. It's just optical illusion. Uh, let's compare to uh, the other one, the other side. All right, so let's see if we can see the offset difference. Definitely not a wide tire. Only nine inch rims, but they stick out a little bit. Yeah, definitely. There's like no poke. In fact, they're almost inset a little bit, a half inch. And these are out. Oh yeah, definitely got a little poke out here. So we got a little rub here for luck. A little here for luck. Uh, quick update on the wheels. So they fit, they've been working good. I just got new lug nuts that I'm actually gonna put on now. Um, I was gonna roll with these, but they're getting a little worn, they're old. And then most seriously, I wanna I want make sure the wheel studs are covered so I'm not getting rust on there unnecessarily because the other center cap covers them all. I also got Rough Country uh, two inch spacers for the front and I wasn't able to get the upper control arm off. Uh, the bolt came off fine but it wouldn't unseat so I'll probably have to try again with torch it with a torch. I didn't have a torch on me uh, so I'll try it again another time. There was also a little rub in the front and the back so I didn't do a complete NorCal but I took the fender liners out and I actually cut this one short. I may have to cut this one a little bit shorter. I think that's a little bit of rub. Uh, but it's not a big deal because it's flexible and it's only at full lock. I painted the 
bottom of the washer as a Ford Black. And then the back, I hammered some of the metal back. I didn't actually cut it off, so I didn't need to. Um, but I just hammered it back. And I did the same thing on the passenger side as well. And passenger side has got the fuel lines. I didn't want to use a grinder over there either if I didn't have to. So I'm going to get the new lug nuts on and go from there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, may God bless you and keep standing up for what's right.